Watch me auto attack this bitch. <laughs> AD Rise is an enigma. I don't fully understand it, but I fell in love with it. There's just something funny about this. Maybe it's because Rise doesn't have any AD scalings, and that's why I'm 1 to 16. Personally, I'm a fond supporter of giving Rise some AD scalings, but it is what it is. At least we got the auto attacks. Isn't that right, Gangplank? He wants his minions. I can't say that's the best decision making, but I can't blame him for being confused. It all started with buying the tier of Goddess. With this item, not many will expect much out of you in the early game. Some may even question your very existence. Are you real? But then, secretly, you're autoing. And autoing, stacking up that lethal tempo. They don't know, this set doesn't know, he thinks you're an underpowered mage looking to scale. But deep inside... You never wanted to be a mage. You hate the idea of having your life laid out in front of you. And that's exactly why you took lethal temper. This life isn't for you. Auto. 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 And that's how it's done. So I played far back, hoping that Malzahar would overstep. To which he did. I then slowly and subtly creep up. Until it's too late, I've already blocked Malzahar's escape path. Forcing Malzahar into a deathmatch. And now it's mage against mage. Just kidding, bitch. I got lethal tempo and it's fully stacked now. That's how you do it. I had a big wave and I needed to push it out. It was kind of scary, but then I managed to dodge rarely as E. I looked to order between every spell weave I could. And so I chunked her out. I really wanted to kill her now, so I just need to get her a little bit more low. That's when I managed to get a W win. Another combo. Perfect. Now I just need to auto attack her and dodge her E. I can't fuck this up. And yet another victim. On is looking to catch his wave under his turret. What a fool. Because he throws his Q and then rams into it, just ruining the entire wave. But now I know that he probably wants these two minions at the very least, right? He gives me the impression of not acknowledging my existence. Little does he know I have a coal filled warhammer and I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Silas tries to eat onto me, but I managed to dodge it. With my lethal tempo brewing up, I decided to commit to this fight, and managed to dodge his other Q. And all that was left was to finish him off, and walk away. On the brink of death. Not the blink of death, the brink of death, I knew that guys. This is when I altered my wave into the turret, because Silas had no TP. So I faked my recall and now I'm waiting in this bush for Malzahar to overextend then. That's when Malzahar gets this itching feeling that somebody has to be in this bush. Somebody's got to be in that bush. Just... Somebody. No one ever acknowledges my existence. I was one minion off level 2 so I moved in, getting the minion on the way. Now you guys remember this gangplank, right? Let me tell you why he ended up the way he did. A pirate who had given up on his hopes and dreams of finding the One Piece. After killing Gangplank, Massey looks to gank me, but I already backed away. He then looks to kill my control board instead. Judging the distance between Gangplank and I, I look to kill Massey Yi before he can get to me, to which I successfully do, and now Gangplank is looking to chase me. The only way he can catch up is if he pulls off this keg. Now I've backed with the strongest item in the game, the coal-filled Warhammer! Of course, Gangplank doesn't know that, and he tries to trade with me. Not a good idea, and so I chunk him and I look to kill him under the turret. That's when I found Master Yi doing the Rift Herald and I decided to join him in the pit. Hello Master Yi. I am now 3 mana away from upgrading to a mirror mana. This is when the AD Rise build elevates to a whole new level. And now, every ability and odd attack will proc this, this blue thing. I like to call it, the blue juice. It's pretty cool does a lot of damage. And if you're wondering, can the blue juice one-shot your enemy? Yes, it totally can. this build one-shot? Yes, 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 it totally can. Look at that. And that's when Orn tried to ram into this pillar. Now, I will apply my blue juice onto this man. He tries to flee under the turret, but I only follow him to apply more.
So I was aggressively pushing top lane because everyone was bot. Even if they came, I figured I was safe because I had the whole enemy jungle warded out. By that, I mean one ward. But even if they came, I had my ult to bail me out. But I was running out of mana. So I had to make sure I had enough mana for my ult. But I pushed away with all my mana. But that's okay because I didn't even need my ult. And that's when I spotted a really in mod Kaiser. It was at this time I wish I had some more mana. So I can ult away. Fuck it. <laughs> I ordered him. It looks like Kane's in trouble, guys. He's gonna need my blue juice. A good way to determine if the build is good or not is by standing still and finishing off the target. As you can see, that was pretty close, so this build is not very good. But it was never about being good. It is about the joy of zapping people with your blue juice. That is the true booty of this build. Zap. 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 Fucking funny. Zap. 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 There's a giant Cho'Gath in that bush, but I don't have a ward. It's really hard to face check him, because if I get hit by his Q, I'm dead. But it looks like he doesn't have a ward either. Oh, never mind. Helps. No, don't go in the bush! Wait, I'll send the minions. Get the minions! Oh! Oh, she's getting hit by turret. Oh, oh the healing! Ah, oh, no, the minion block! Okay, we're good. So then we were chasing Silas and realizing I couldn't catch up, I came up with a plan. I did that for you, come on. Yes! <laughs> you actually gave me a little boost. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah. You know? You didn't have time to yeah. stop. You didn't have time to stop. <laughs> I wanted to fight Trinomir, but he was just a bit strong. Thankfully, I had Larissa coming up my lane, and that Trinomir just used his E to clear the wave. This was a good opportunity to not only get some poke in, but provoke him so that he can come onto me later. The moment Trinomir uses his E, I'll also use my ult, teleporting that short distance to buy some time for Larissa to come in and charm Trinomir. I can now root Trinomir and apply the blue juice. Twisted Fate was trying to defend his turret, so I thought, what if I just killed the turret? And then killed TF because there's no turret to protect him. So my team was arguing and flaming each other in all chat. That was when Kirby found the perfect opportunity to let me know that he watches all my videos. Thank you Kirby for all the support. 